Dear students, now we are going to solve an important problem in FIR filter design using rectangular window. Design a bandpass filter using rectangular window for n is equal to 11 samples. The given frequency response HD of e power j omega is equal to 1. When the modulus of frequency omega is greater than or equal to pi by 4 and less than or equal to 3 by by 4. Its value is 0 otherwise. Okay. So in that solution part, first we have to draw the frequency response diagram for the given values. So here its value is 1 when the frequency from minus pi by 4 to minus 3 by by 4 in the positive side pi by 4 to 3 by by 4. This modulus sign represents both the positive side as well as negative side. Okay. From this diagram, we can understand that the given filter is a symmetric filter okay so negative side as well as positive side both the values are exactly similar that is called as symmetric filter we are going to use the rectangular window method to design this fir filter the first step is to find the desired impulse response sequence for the given filter it can be obtained by using the formula hd of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration from minus pi to pi hd of e power j omega e power j omega n into d omega. Okay. Then we have to substitute the value of this hd of e power j omega here. So its value is 1 when that limit is from minus 3 by by 4 to minus pi by 4 and pi by 4 to 3 by by 4. Okay. We have to change the limit here and then integrate with respect to omega. So this term becomes e power j omega n by j n. The limit is from minus 3 by by 4 to minus pi by 4. The same here e power j omega n by j n. Limit is from pi by 4 to 3 by by 4. We can take this 1 by j n as a common term that is 1 by 2 j n pi. Then we have to substitute that limits here e power minus j n pi by 4 that is the upper limit minus the lower limit is e power minus j 3 pi n by 4. Similarly here plus e power j 3 pi n by 4 minus the lower limit is e power plus j n pi by 4. Okay. We can group the similar terms together. For further simplification, so here we can take e power j 3 pi n by 4 minus e power j 3 by n by 4 divided by 2j. We can take this 2j inside this bracket, okay. Similarly, we can take this value here. This e power plus j n pi by 4 is having the minus sign. So, we can take this minus here. So, this term becomes e power j n pi by 4. And this term is minus of e power minus j n by by 4 divided by 2j. This 2j is common for both the terms here. So now this term looks like e power j theta minus e power minus j theta divided by 2j. That is nothing but sin theta. So we can write this term as sin 3 n by by 4 minus sin n by by 4. So we have obtained the desired impulse response sequence. For the given frequency response that is hd of n is equal to 1 by n pi sin 3 n pi by 4 minus sin n pi by 4. Here the n value varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this impulse sequence is an infinite duration sequence. But we are going to design FIR filter. FIR means it should have the finite duration sequence right. As we know that the given filter is a symmetric filter, its impulse response sequence is also symmetric about n is equal to 0. If it is symmetric about n is equal to 0 means we can say hd of n is equal to hd of minus n. Its coefficients are also symmetric. Okay, here the capital N value is 11. So we can get the values of this impulse response from minus 5 to plus 5. Using this formula, alpha is equal to n minus 1 by 2, that is equal to 5, okay. Then we are going to obtain the impulse response sequence by using the formula sin 3 n by by 4 minus sin n pi by 4 divided by n pi. The n value is from minus 5 to plus 5. First we are going to obtain n is equal to 0 value. So whenever we are going to substitute that n value as 0 in this 
formula then we can get that indeterminate condition so indeterminate means if n is equal to 0 means this denominator becomes 0. The numerator value is sin 0 minus sin 0. Sin 0 value is 0. So 0 by 0 means it is indeterminate condition. Okay. So for this n is equal to 0 alone we are going to use the formula that is limit n tends to 0 sin a n pi by sin n pi value is equal to a. a is nothing but a constant value. Do you all understand this? So limit n tends to 0 means the numerator is also 0, denominator is also 0. In that condition, we have to take this constant value alone. Do you all understand? So we are going to use this formula here. So for this, n is equal to 0, h d of 0 is equal to limit n tends to 0 sin 3 n pi by 4 by n pi. That's what here minus limit n tends to 0 sin n pi by 4 by n pi. So here the constant term is what here 3 by 4. So we can take that value as 3 by 4 for this term it is minus 1 by 4. Simplify this term we can get 0.5. So hd of 0 value is what 0.5. Okay. So for n is equal to 1 we can simply put the value n is equal to 1 this equation. Okay. Then we can get hd of 1 is equal to sin 3 by by 4 minus sin pi by 4 by pi that is equal to 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 by pi. So we can have that value as 0. Okay, hd of 1 is equal to hd of minus 1 is equal to 0. It is a symmetric filter. Okay, for n is equal to 2, hd of 2 is equal to sin 6 pi by 4 minus sin 2 pi by 4. That can be simplified as sin 3 by by 2, here it is sin pi by 2, okay. So that is obtained over here, then substitute the value of the sin 3 by by 2, its value is minus 1, sin pi by 2 value is 1, that is 1 minus. So we can have minus 1 by, by its value is hd of 2 is equal to hd of minus 2 is equal to minus 0 0.3183, okay. The same way we can obtain the values for n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5. For n is equal to 3, hd of 3 is equal to 1 by 3 pi sin 9 pi by 4 minus sin 3 pi by 4. Substitute the value of this sin by by 4 as 0 0.707. Here sin 3 by by 4 value is 0 0.707. So we can cancel these two values. This term becomes 0. So hd of 3 is equal to hd of minus 3 is equal to 0. For n is equal to 4, this term becomes 1 by 4 pi sin 12 by, by 4 minus sin 4 by by 4. This term is equal to sin 3 pi minus sin pi. Sin pi value is always 0. So we can get hd of 4 is equal to hd of minus 4 is equal to 0. Then the last one is n is equal to 5. hd of 5 is equal to 1 by 5 pi sin 15 pi by 4 minus sin 5 by by 4. That is equal to 1 by 5 pi sin 15 pi by 4 value is minus 0 0.707. Sin 5 by by 4 value is minus 0 0.707 minus into minus plus. So this term becomes 0. So hd of 5 is equal to hd of minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. So the second step is to find the rectangular window sequence for n is equal to 11 samples. The rectangular window method is a very simple method because we are going to have the value 1 for the given duration. So its value is always 1. So here the limit is from minus 5 to plus 5. So we can simply write the coefficients of this rectangular window sequence as wr of 0 is equal to 1, wr of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. All values are equal to simply 1. Okay. The third step is to multiply the infinite duration sequence hd of n with that window sequence wr of n to get the finite duration sequence h of n for n is equal to 11 samples. So this can be obtained by multiplying these two sequences okay from minus 5 to plus 5 values. So here we can write h of 0 is equal to hd of 0 into wr of 0 that is equal to 0.5 into 1. So here the wr value is always 1 r represents the rectangular window correct rectangular window is always 1 
so 0.5 into 1 is equal to 0.5 h of 1 is equal to hd of 1 into wr of 1 is equal to here hd of 1 value is 0 so we can obtain the value as 0 so h of 1 is equal to h of minus 1 is equal to 0 it is a symmetric filter next h of 2 is equal to hd of 2 into wr of 2 is equal to hd of 2 value is what minus 0 0.3183 that is multiplied with the value 1 that is equal to the same answer next h of 3 is equal to hd of 3 into wr of 3 hd of 3 value is 0 the answer is 0 similarly h of 4 is equal to 0 h of 5 is equal to 0 finally we have obtained the finite duration impulse response sequence h of 0 is equal to 0.5 h of 1 is equal to h of minus 1 is equal to 0 h of 2 is equal to minus 2 is equal to 0 0.3183 the remaining coefficients are equal to 0 the last step in this design process is to obtain the transfer function of the realizable fir filter it can be obtained by using the formula h of z is equal to z power minus of n minus 2 by 2 into h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z power n plus z power minus n we are going to substitute the value of this capital N here. That value is equal to 11. So, z power minus 11 minus 1 by 2 h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to 5. n minus 1 by 2 value is what? 5 here. So, h of n, z power n plus z power minus n. Then this term becomes z power minus 5. Then we can write h of 0 plus expand the summation value. We can get h of 1 z power 1 plus z power minus 1 plus h of 2 z power 2 plus z power minus 2 plus h of 3 z power 3 plus z power minus 3 plus h of 4 z power 4 plus z power minus 4 plus h of 5 z power 5 plus z power minus 5. Then we have to substitute the values of h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, 4 and 5 values. So here we know that h of 1 value is 0, here it becomes 0 and h of 4 is 0, h of 5 is 0. Right, as well as h of 3 is also 0. We can get that result as z power minus 5. h of 0 value is what? 0.5 plus h of 1 value becomes 0. h of 2 value is what? Minus 0 0.3183 z power 2 plus z power minus 2 plus the remaining terms are 0. Okay, then we have to multiply this term inside this. We can get 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3183 z power 2 minus 0 0.3183 z power minus 2. Then we can multiply this z power minus 5 inside this bracket. Then we can get the answer as h of z is equal to 0.5 z power minus 5 minus 0 0.3183. z power 2 into z power minus 5 is z power minus 3. Similarly, z power minus 2 into z power minus 5 is z power minus 7. Okay. Then the transfer function of the given bandpass FIR filter is h of z is equal to we can simply rearrange the term. So we can start with this minus 0 0.3183 z power minus 3 plus 0.5 z power minus 5 minus 0 0.3183 z power minus 7. So this is the final answer. Okay. From this transfer function, we can obtain the actual causal FIR filter coefficients as here this value starts from minus 3. So minus 3 means n is equal to 3 value. There is no constant term. Constant term represents n is equal to 0 term. So we can get the value like this that is there is no constant term we can say that value is 0. So that is what n is equal to 0. z power minus 1 term is also not there we can put 0. z power minus 2 term is also not there we can put 0. z power minus 3 value that is n is equal to 3 value we can write it here. So minus 0 0.3183 then z power minus 4 is not there we can put 0. z power minus 5 that is 0 0.5 z power minus 6 is not there, we can put 0. z power minus 7 value is minus 0 0.3183. Then minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, this values are not there, we can simply put 0. So, this all are the causal FIR filter coefficients, okay.